what's going on? It's Brad Phipps. Welcome to TucsonMetalSociety.com. Some of you guys may know me from around the scene. I've been playing music here in Tucson for about 30 years. Uh, played with a band called Nucleic Fear, went into Painted Aggression, into the Aggressive Sound Session. Uh, then I started doing a lot of video production stuff around 2005 and 6, the beginning of Stands with Fists. And I've been kind of following them for a while and then eventually I became part of the band for a couple of years and we went and did some really cool things. I got to see the Knot Fest twice uh, from a stage, not from the fan standpoint, which was really awesome. A lot of people there, it was uh, phenomenal. And uh, we were also able to uh, play the uh, KFMA Day here in Tucson. And again, another phenomenal crowd, crowd and uh, awesome opportunity. And uh, since then, I've, I've kind of been really trying to document a lot of the goings on with a lot of metal bands here in town. There's nothing that's like what I'm trying to put together here. I always have a problem trying to find new metal bands. Not not someone who's established, but someone who's just got a Facebook page, you know, and uh, maybe they got a great recording or a new video, but they're, you know, it, it just because we're not connected on Facebook or because the algorithms don't allow us to connect, whatever the case is. Um, this website will be a place where it's really filled with a lot of links, uh, a lot of, uh, information about what's going on in the local scene. Um, we're going to be, you know, sharing people's music videos, sharing people's uh, Facebook pages, websites, uh, whatever we can uh, link up to, to make it kind of an easy place for you to come in, uh, go look around, maybe discover something new in Tucson you haven't seen before, uh, maybe discover something old. Uh, that's the other thing about what we're doing is documenting a little bit of the history of what's been happening here uh, as far as metal music is going. I've been playing for 30 years and there's guys that go back even before us and you know our, we have a great opportunity to uh, start inducting some of them into the Tucson Musicians Museum and uh, you can read about that below again under construction so as things grow we'll let you know. The Jazz Society like the Blues Society but uh, we're gonna be a little bit more proactive in really trying to help the uh, the younger generations, you know, in some things that maybe we already have some knowledge that we can pass it down so they don't have to, you know, go through the trials and tribulations. Some of the stuff is, you know, you have to go through it, but that's, you just need to know that it's coming. Uh, it's a lot of things that I've always looked back over my career and said, hey, I wish there was somebody that could have let me know this was going to happen or the potential was this or that this is how you should approach this situation. And uh, I'm not saying that I'm the guy that's going to tell you everything you need to know. But what I do know is this community that we have, that's Tucson Metal Society, uh, is a group of people that have been doing it here for a long time. And, and a lot of them aren't even part of the Metal Society yet. They just are part of the metal community. And I'm hoping to bring people on that, you know, just want to become part of it. Just be uh, a, a piece of history of what we did, regardless of what you attain and what level you go to in your life, the thing is, is you did it and there's an opportunity for us all to be able to document that now. Uh, you look back in another 30 years and go, wow, look at what we did since then. Or, you know, look back or look forward 200 years, somebody looking back over what we're doing now and being able to actually go, hey, they were smart enough to document it and I learned something from those guys. And there's, uh, I don't know. This is great opportunity, I think, for all, all of us to come together as a community, uh, not only as the bands, but a lot of uh, small businesses are hurting right now. We need to get people in there working. We need to have, uh, you know, people going in and purchasing product, products and things like that. And so this is an opportunity that we can work with small businesses to kind of highlight what they're doing at the same time as we're bringing together people for a great show. And uh, we're also gonna start a podcast. And the podcast itself is gonna start focusing on the Tucson bands and the Tucson scene. Kind of looking at some of the older music, looking at some of the newer stuff coming out, look at some of the guys that are doing it today, uh, talk about how the scene's changing and evolving. And as we do this, we look to expand this into even a bigger realm and take our pilot project nationwide and start the American Metal Society, which I've already started and you'll be able to go check. That's really bare bones, but I'm putting together, I want us to be able to connect all over America. 
I want us to be able to go to this website and go, hey, who's the bands in Michigan? Tucson Metal Society is gonna be something great, something that actually brings us all together and gives us a new perspective on community and working with each other and growing as, as we start or continue our ventures that we all are on. This is not about doing something to make money, though we all need to make money. So this is doing something to market each of our individual things. And then from there, it is what you make it. And it is what it is. And let's see what happens. You know, please come out and uh, see what we're doing. We're very excited. At least I am right now. Very excited. So I'm looking forward to meeting you guys if I haven't already met you guys. And if I have met you guys, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again. It's been a while since we got together. So let's get together. Let's do some metal. All right. Peace. Oh, I'm